Hello, Prim friends. I am once again back at Gleaner Antiques in Ashland, Ohio. And Gleaner Antiques and Seville Antiques are both having the um, Valentine Hearts special sale this upcoming February 18th and 19th. And Gleaner also did sort of a, a renovation and change to the shop. And I know it wasn't that terribly long ago that I was here, but I am just, I, I'm just overwhelmed by the change in the shop. So we'll just go here a little area by area. And I'll make sure to have the address and information for contacting the store in the description below. And Margie does ship. So if you see something that tugs at your heartstrings and you cannot live without, that is most definitely doable. I just love this tree she's got set up here inside for Valentine's. How cute is that? And these beautiful red and white quilts, the basket pattern, and the quilt rack there on the wall, lovely. Gleaner Antiques does have uh, some really beautiful upholstered furnishings too. Look at that hooked rug. With the, with the roses in the corners. Some of those sweet German Easter eggs. Cute. Oh my, how cute is he? In our home that we're having built the cape on the corner. That's where the the name of our channel comes from. From my kitchen window, I can see the neighbor's farm and they have rooster, uh, roosters. They probably have roosters too, but they have donkeys. And I know one of the things that I really fell in love with at the property was the sound of those roosters braying. It's just such a unique, such a unique sound. Oh, look at that cupboard there in the corner. And the little wheelbarrow. Oh, and the children's, the children's garden implements. Look how cute is that? What a sweet display. And that cupboard is just stunning. It's kind of a lighter mustard. It's not that real dark, but it's over this beautiful, beautiful red. Very nice. Here's some, one of those upholstered chairs. sawbuck table too and these bowls and again I've said before that wide lip is what I'm always looking for when I'm when I'm picking my my wooden bowls some pretty ironstone pieces and there's some ironstone corn You might remember in my parents' home, it was the corn that they collect. Go 
gorgeous. If you notice too, the corn pattern is usually also on the handles, and it is here. Sometimes you'll see where pieces are mar married. You'll, you'll hear that term sometimes also with uh, antique cupboards, where the top and the bottom weren't originally together, but they may be married when they work together. Beautiful bucket bench there. Love that. And this incredible corn husk wreath. That is not small. I would say that's a good 35, 36 inches across if I was estimating. Those wonderful wall boxes. Just, it's just so cozy. There's a really big hog scraper candlestick. And this, <laughs> this little sweetie up here on top. Very cute. A sampler here on the wall. I know we have several watchers of our channel, the Cape on the Corner, that are always looking for uh, these beautiful samplers. And there's a great example of one, Sarah Hatter, H-A-T-T-E-R, age 14 years. Just lovely. And this beautiful barn wall is a new addition here in the shop. It really gives a an unusual look or a nice look to it, just a warmth to it. Pretty little pantry box there with the bale handle. And here's a trundle bed. A rope trundle bed which would have saved room in the early bedrooms. They could slide that out and back under during the day so the room could be used for, for more than just a bedroom like we have in our current homes. They sometimes were in very small homes and cabins. And they just did not have, just didn't have the amount of space that we do today. This sweet little antique horse there, like a little old pull toy. There are some lovely quilts here in this shop. And this bedding here on the top, this feels like, that feels like wool. That is just lovely. It's such a pretty color. Which is so much fun, too, that if you are into the primitive antiques or you are into the farmhouse. There's so much crossover with many of these pieces. There's the sign here. You can look for the hearts on the 18th and 19th. And those will have the, the special prices, the discounted prices on some items in both Seville Antiques and also the Gleaner. I see a beautiful basket here in the corner. All of these are lovely. And my eye is gravitating both to this one right here, which is just stunning. Love that shape. And then this one right here. Look at how narrow that weaving is. Really pretty. A bucket basket. Just gorgeous. Love the this straw hat. Look how cute. This I'm so thrilled that these pieces were saved. You know, I've said before we're stewards now. When we get them, when we find them when we hold on to them and love them. They're protected with us. 
and hopefully the next generation will understand how special they are because once they're gone once they're in the landfill sadly they are gone forever so what a responsibility and honor that we have to be able to hold on to these pieces and cherish them. Oh, look at the ginger beer bottles. I don't know if you saw the video that I posted last night was for growing ginger even in cool climates and the fun thing is it can be done with store-bought ginger. It's a fun little project you can do with your do it yourself. Do it with kiddos, grandkids. What a gorgeous collection of that spongeware. The pictures. And that feather edge. Beautiful platter. And a couple of plates there. Again, here this room sort of has the, the feature of the blues. And that's a lovely proddy rug in a hit and miss. That, that hit and miss is when it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And I'll tell you what, as a rug hooker, that is difficult. That is not easy to accidentally, in general, hit and miss pieces to kind of recreate that old look. Your tendency really is to overthink it. The early pieces, oh, they just make it look so easy. Lovely, more of that spatterware. A butter crock and salt crock. Roll, braid, I'm trying to make out the word there on the bottom. Beautiful cupboard with the, with the drawers. Now and some early lye soap down there in the bottom. It's such a neat display in your bathrooms. We're on a kitchen counter. This is so pretty. All ready for spring. Sweet little bunny. And these moss balls and the little... How cute. Such a pretty... a pretty little corner here. Hmm. What a lovely fishing creel with that leather top. That is very nice. I don't usually see them with the leather on the top. And the snowshoes. That's sort of more of that, that cabin look here. those wooden skis. Can you imagine how heavy? There's a a bee. Oh, probably for a queen bee. To move her from one location to another. They were actually shipped in those that that uh, hole in the top would have had a cardboard cover on the top and they could actually be mailed in our US Postal Service. Can you imagine shipping something like bees in a bee box? More quilts back here. Beautiful. 
love this one. That would be beautiful, that red and green. At Christmas time, maybe under your Christmas tree or behind a Christmas tree. And this shop also has one of those things that are sort of elusive sometimes, and that's the um, the lampshades that are in the fabrics that we're always looking for. That's why it's so so nice to know that these kind of shops are out there and so specific to what it is that we're looking for. Because you know when you come in here, you find you find those special pieces. It's a pretty cupboard there with the zinc top. Very nice. Oh my goodness, this is not a small shop. Um, this is one of those shops that you kind of go around one direction and then you wander around the other direction because there's just so much to see and you don't want to miss anything. It's an early German piece. The anchor and the cross. Beautiful. Sophie. Lovely. And several match holders here. Match safe. Beautiful. And then this lovely little watercolor. And she's signed as Sarah. Love these Crocs. That's blue cobalt decorated. And what a beautiful little fireplace surround. And then these are the, the Betty lamps. You don't even have to have an actual fireplace. You can just put that right on a wall. Nice display shelf. No need for the no need for the chimney. Oh, I go one direction and then another. I just trying to take it all in and bring you along with me. What a clever idea. Look at that. The wooden base, the early porch post, and then that sweet log cabin on top, little birdhouse, maybe, or a child's toy. It's, everything's just so beautifully displayed here. Love that little iron bed. And then again, just so pretty, that newly made, beautiful, cruel fabric, like a bolster pillow. And more of the iron stone. Oh. Cute. Looks like an early bloom. Beautiful. This area here, sort of in the in the worn and the black and white, and that box on the top of that table. Just gorgeous. Look at that. The leaf painting. 
really pretty. 1700s. Oh, look at the stack of the grinding stones. If you remember Bill Romy's shop also had several of those and of course the video of Jamie's out in um, Cornfield Primitives. She has more than I've ever seen anywhere. Pretty collection there of the yellow wear bowls and some pictures too. Jan, if you're watching, this may be some of what you were looking for. And again, like I said before, the nice thing is Gleaner Antiques, they do ship. And I will have their contact information in the description of the video and you're always welcome to send me an email. Look at how cute the big basket and all those little clay pots. The sweet little vignette. And the felted eggs. So sweet another yellow wear bowl. Oh, look at the bunny. When our house is done and we have unpacked and found all of our treasures, you'll see that bunnies, bunnies and the little mice are something that I've collected over the years. I think sometimes maybe subconsciously it has come from um, my one of my favorite books as a child was illustrated by Tasha Tudor and I think I've just sort of carried that carried those images with me all of my life so and even into how I decorate I wish you could tell here in person just how large that is. It is literally touching the ceiling. That is amazing. It is directly floor to ceiling. That is amazing. It's early. Martin House. I think I'm seeing that saying pear. Is there another one? Maybe the pear is the base and the top. I'll have to ask about that. Oh, look at that lovely green table with that paint there and then they've got this area paired with this beautiful looks like slag glass stained glass there at the top oh what a pretty pretty color and I know I've said before I don't I don't really talk about prices because from one store to the next, and one town to the next, and one state to the next. Prices are so different, as they should be. And I don't want someone to think that someone's prices are too high or someone's are too low. It's all about if you love it. These are really, m most if not all of these pieces are so one of a kind because they're these early prim pieces handmade many of them there are just not you can't just run to the local store and pick one up so the value is in 
How does it make your heart feel? Do you know the perfect spot in your home and you want to bring it to your home? That's what's important. That should be the measure of whether or not it's worth it. I think that little vase is going to come home with me. I've started, I wouldn't say that they're necessarily primitive and I'm not strictly primitive style, but I've really started collecting the, the white matte McCoy pieces. And so yeah, I think that one's going to have to come home with me. Look at this lovely, lovely rug. Oh, how cute is that? And again, her, her color coordinating here in this shop is just, my goodness, it is inspiring. these gorgeous corbels at the top. You maybe have the perfect place outside or maybe even inside or like she has here they're just displayed on the top of a cupboard. They don't even have to go outside. They've served their purpose. They've done their their service out outside. What a beautiful piece of architecture. We just don't see things like that anymore in these new new homes. That's what makes the old ones so special. There's several linens here. Some are even initialed by hand with a little cross stitch. This one is A S. And the little pinafores or little slips for the children as well as the adults. Can you imagine the woman maybe that wore that? Look how pretty. Maybe it was in her um, her dowry in her uh, the box that would have been saved for her wedding. Looks like a collection of iron banks. Inside a little tombstone shaped cupboard. And several more smalls. Love that transfer wear up there. Little tiny yellower bowl. Oh, how sweet. So I'm curious, are you coming to the to the special sale on the 18th and 19th of February to Seville Antiques and Gleaner Antiques. I know they are open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. I plan on being at Seville in the morning, probably at least until, at least until probably noon. Would love to say hello to you. Look at all of this beautiful. Is this a flow blue? Beautiful pattern, this blue and white. That is a large collection of that too. That's not just a few pieces. That is a very large collection. And look, even the pitcher and bowl. Stunning. I, that would just make a gorgeous table. Uh, looks like she's got a little note there that that is called, yes, Flow Blue Grace Pattern. 
really pretty. Look at the little ladle there in that bowl. Love that little three three tier rack. And then more of the, the white farmhouse, maybe, or just a, maybe a dark corner in your home that you're looking for something a bit lighter. I don't, oh, look at the heart, the heart rug. I was going to say before I got waylaid there with the heart rug, I don't necessarily decorate in any particular specific style. I guess eclectic maybe with my heart being in the, in the early, but mine is definitely a collected style. If you think about an early home, that maybe was passed down from generations. You would have generations of pieces in that home. And that passing down continued from one generation to the next. They didn't they didn't not ever get anything new. The next new things came in and then got passed on and the next new things came in and got passed on. And so you end up more with a collected sort of a look. And I think that's what's so fun about this decorating style is that it's so personal. Our homes become a work of art. Look at how this looks like mercury glass. It's so lightweight. Beautiful. Some is decorated. In fact, most of those pieces are decorated. Lovely. And then more of the corbels. Oh. And look at that wreath. And that sweet painting. Love it. He's out in the field protecting the crops, hopefully. That scarecrow. Pretty. Look at that lovely little, little chest there with a single drawer and the birdhouse and fencing. And then these sweet little bunnies. They're so, that, that china pattern is so dainty. How elegant. And that little bit of gold on the trim. And it's so elegant and simple. And in that chippy painted cupboard without a door Lovely. Another lovely little watercolor with a house peeking out over the top of the hill. MC, maybe MG. It's the signature in the corner. Love that. Another beautiful quilt. On an iron bed. Several drawers there. Oh, look at that sweet. Look at those lovely little animals there. Little German turkey. So cute. 
cute. Child's toys. And now something so precious for us as adults. Again, more of these beautiful, beautiful quilts. Oh, what a pretty corner here. And the desk, I can't say I've seen one like that before with the both sides. And that left. Was this perhaps at a bank or a train station or a school? With the drawers on, or the, the cupboards would lift up on both sides of that eagle there. Gorgeous. And again, another one of those hog scraper candlesticks that are quite tall. Beautiful clock. The decoration there in the glass in the bottom. And again, another beautiful cupboard here. Love those. I've had my husband put blocking in several areas of our new build so that when we find these pieces, these perfect ones that need to need to come home with us, it will be much easier to attach them to the wall without having necessarily to find this stud or that stud. Look at that dry sink. And that has a porcelain sink inside and this looks like copper lined maybe I think copper yep and then there with the pump right beside it again just such a nice nice way of displaying it more yellowware Gorgeous pieces there. And that plate rack is lovely. And all those beautiful green bottles. And more down here below. What a great collection. And now look at this. Oh, I've been watching this, eyeing this out of the corner of my eye here since. I came into this side of the of the shop. What a beautiful corner cabinet with that early red. One piece and it's pegged. You don't have to pull that open. That color is just striking. So whether you put it against the those dark, moody, primmy colors, or here, like the shop now has the barn board on this side, or on the white walls, our home inside will have the white. I love the alabaster. For our color on the drywall, it just pops. Again, like a work of art. These are beautiful. These cups, Henredon, gorgeous, really, really pretty piece. You can see there's, there's maybe some blue over the top of that at some point in time, maybe a green, but that red is just a knockout. More of the paintings. beautiful chair with the cruel cover on that. That's a vintage one. 
And again, more yellow wear. Jan, J-A-N-N, if you are watching. Lovely pieces here. And there's a, one of the little molds. Is that wheat, perhaps? Looks like maybe like a sheaf of wheat or grain. Sweet hook drug there at the top. And the yellowware. Um, rolling pins. I knew it would come to me. Those are rare. Those are hard to find. Pretty cupboard also. This one filled with some redware pieces and some spice boxes. It's a piece of green spatter. Or sponge maybe is probably the better way to describe it. Some treen pieces. Pieces. Love those redware jugs. I have a set of those in graduating sizes that I have kept for my own personal collection. There's some things when you see them as a as an antique dealer or reseller. There's some things that just you don't have to have things forever, but some things you just want to hold on to for a little while. And I have four of those. There are four in our home, and the number four is just so, so special. Four and 44. And actually, I can tell you, I went to the Seville Post Office the other day to get a P.O. box. And I know it's hard to believe, but our P.O. box number for Tweed Thistle farms and primitives and also the cape on the corner is P.O. Box number 444. Yes, our P.O. Box number is 444. I take those kind of things as a sign. This tree is just loaded with these gorgeous early and vintage feather tree ornaments. Oh, are they so sweet? And then even the bottom is loaded up with those. Pretty green slat back bar stool. And even right here in the shop you have to look close because things that look like they're just part of the shop are also available for sale because those corbels those corbels have a price tag on them we'll go around the corner here Pretty little miniature cupboard or a child's cupboard there. Another beautiful hook drug, an early one. Love that round table. That is a hutch table. Almost more of an oval shape. It does have the dovetails. Really pretty. I have a spot that might just be perfect for in the cape. We'll go through here. 
look at the early ice cream molds and the candy container or candy molds. The bunnies. I've not seen one of the looks like maybe a clown's face. Look at Santa's back there. Some bottle brush trees. Sweet little puts sheep. There's a whole bunch of puts sheep in there. They're from Germany. And then a couple of really sweet little feather trees here on top of the counter. Oops, am I turning too fast? Sorry, hopefully not making anybody motion sickness. Pretty cupboard. These wreaths are so sweet here. And there's a whole nother room back there. Love that woven coverlet there on that bed. That mustard and red. That is just stunning. Beautiful. And that's not a small piece either. That is a nice size coverlet. Pretty little Victorian style washstand. Here's another one with those drop handles. Beautiful painting. Aww with the sheep and oil on canvas and the shepherdess lovely and look here he is working in the field some pretty pretty vases right here some glass. The roses actually in the glass. Okay, we'll head on into this room. Filled with primitives. Oh my goodness. Love that tin chandelier. Again, another wonderful table, single drawer. Beautiful in your kitchen. or uh, You can find place for all of these pieces. There's always room. There's always room for one more. One more something. A nice glass countertop jar with the tin lid so nice to store cookie molds or other pieces like that oh look at that how clever like the early sweater block so you could wash your sweater and then lay it out on that to dry and block it so it doesn't get crazy shaped Another beautiful plate rack there with a nice, it's nice and deep, so you could definitely put some things in front of the plates. They're all in the back. And this sweet little, look at how cute, a little ugly face jug. 
think I've said before, that's I'm not being rude. That's just what they're called. Another beautiful iron bed. Pretty quilt on there too. And again, look at on the side. There's a beautiful little early chair and all the little shoes. Lovely little vignette. Gorgeous trunk. I'm trying to see if that is grain painted or that is grain painted. That is stunning. Beautiful piece. Oh my goodness, I really hope, I hope it is all coming across here. I hope that you will come out for these, for these shops, for this sale here on February 18th and 19th. That is Saturday and Sunday, both at Gleaner Antiques and also Seville Antiques. They are only, oh goodness, maybe, maybe 30 minutes, 35 minutes apart from each other. Super easy drive between one and the other. Look at those rye baskets. That wonderful drying rack there. I know I've said in one of the other videos, what a great piece. If you're just starting out loving primitives and wanting to add them, one of those is a wonderful piece to start with because you can add little things to it and it can be such a striking, such a striking piece in a room right to begin with. Whether you're starting, you know, maybe you have a family piece, maybe a quilt or a coverlet, or even if it's just something like some dried herbs or dried flowers, little bundles, or your dish towels that you could put on them. It's just a really nice way to start your collection. Another beautiful hooked rug. And oh my, check out that gorgeous butter churn. That is amazing. And I don't know if you caught the price, but that's pretty amazing as well. Wow. Very nice. Pie safe. You can see it kept the pies safe from the buggies. It has the screening on three sides. Maybe on four. Looks like it could possibly be on the back as well. What a neat thing to display there, the, the dried garlic. Again, another fireplace mantle. You just don't have to have a fireplace to add that touch. You know, how often do we really have them on? So you could have the fireplace mantle, have the look of the fireplace, and you don't have all the mess. That is like a whale tail shelf, and it is tiger maple. Beautiful. These are really lovely in a bathroom also. They're narrow. It's a nice little piece. And beautiful in your living room, in your dining room. Oh my gosh, you, you know, where can't you put it? And more of this beautiful furniture that's Beautiful wing back chair and the flame stitch. Oh, and check this out. How sweet. How sweet is he? With his little carrots under his arm. Just lovely. Love that table with the drawer on the end 
but it's on the short end. I wonder, I wonder if there is one on the other end as well. Nope. That scrub top table. Beautiful. You see how much more we have to see? Oh, I hope you're sticking with me here. I hope you like and subscribe. I would love if you would share this on other social media pages. Just click on that link that says share and you can put it on your own wall that more people can see it or put it on some of those pages with others of our like-minded friends who love this early style of decorating. Very neat chair there in the, it's like the twig chair, kind of a combination, and it's in the off-white. Lovely. I just, I can't, I cannot express enough just how every corner, every little area in this shop is just so beautifully staged. Look at that little early table. Cute. And these little bottles. I have several of these. Oh yeah. I have several of these that I had bought many years ago. They were smaller than this. Yellow, probably yellow marigolds. They used to keep their seeds in them. There are some early, oh, that's a tomato seed in there. Early something. Hmm. What is this one? This one is missing its cork. Early beet seeds. You know, there are, there are uh, collectors out there. And oh, and here's a dibble. There's an early dibble when you put your plants in or your seedlings in and you just sort of push this into the ground, twist it around a little bit and it makes that little that little hole for putting your seedling into the ground and that is called a dibble. Maybe wonder did you know that? Put a note in the comments if you've learned something new here in these videos today. See the hornet's nest up there. What a great, great piece to decorate with. Again, a lovely ladder holding the, the linen pieces and the rugs. More of those big jugs and the bucket bench. Look at the size of that blue bucket. I said before, one of the things that's really important in these early wooden pieces is in the dry winter months to put some something wet in them, a wet sponge or something just to help maintain that moisture in those pieces so that the wood doesn't dry so much that the rings um, that hold the staves together loosen and fall because it is it is next to impossible to put that back together again look at that lovely green apple dry sink with the zinc liner in the top and that painted painting inside that wooden bowl. Those look like pansies. Large hanging lift top box. Beautiful.
beautiful wall box. Beautiful. Pretty green piece there. Lift to top bin. You know, these pieces can be have so many uses. You know, if you're trying to hide something away, if it's a um, even a, a trash can maybe in your office, something that would not leak, you could put that inside there and just hide hide it away. Look at that gorgeous corner cupboard. Beautiful. And that's very unusual with that kind of picture frame style there on the sides. And this lovely little burl, little burl scoop. Very pretty. Sweet little desk. And this, oh, oh. Well, you know, this is all part of life, too. Hannah Gibbons, her work, 1842. You see the willow tree on the side, and it looks like most definitely a church. Probably a tombstone there on the side and if you look up at the top in memory of Hannah Potter who departed this life on the 6th of April 1840 probably 1841 aged 38 years also John Parker John Potter, her husband, D. Parr. Unfinished. Unfinished. You know, somebody could have pulled that string back in and just left it in there, but there is something so artistic about that piece of string hanging down there in that. Hmm. Such nice pieces here. There's a whole bowl of stone fruit down there. A beautiful small dry sink. That gorgeous, gorgeous crock. Crock jug. And here's another one with the blue decoration. And more here inside. These wonderful buckets up on top. Nice angel wing cutting board there with the knife. Redware from Foltz, F O L T Z Pottery. I believe he's in Pennsylvania. And a collection of the children's chairs here on this side. More of these beautiful pictures. Look at the size of this one. That's got to be a couple of gallons easily. Looks like a chicken feeder or chicken waterer there. And 
yet some more yellower bowls. It's a pretty little cupboard here. Unusual because it has the door. And when you open that, there are three dovetailed drawers inside. Love it. Another shepherdess image up there. Oh, look at this. Worldview Company, Market Street, Meadville, Pennsylvania. Again, Market Street, Meadville, Pennsylvania. Look at that charming family. Picket fence all around. Love it. Beautiful decorated arrow back chair, grain painted seat, and a beautiful mule chest. I think somebody had asked me about mule chests in one of the other videos, and there is one right there. Oh, love this. And it says Chief on the side. A sweet child's wheelbarrow. I've uh, mentioned to my mom, I know we've had so many people send such lovely messages about the video of my parents' home. And my mom does such a beautiful job decorating the dining room. Well, other areas too, but the dining room just becomes so charming with her with her Easter and spring decorations. So I plan to take you back uh, for another video when she has that all ready to go. Love that tobacco rack up there at the top. several of these beautiful leather bound books so fun to to collect again this beautiful bed the spool bed the ends almost resemble the thistle Pulling this out of this box in here, this looks like an herb masher. That large, large piece there, again, another hit and miss on the rug. More the stone fruit. I love how it's displayed there. Beautiful ban banister back chair. And look at this beautiful view here. Wonderful table there for in front of the sofa between a couple of windows. Oh, just so many, so many possibilities. This hanging wall desk. So maybe you don't have room on the floor. You have some things there, some big crocs or things, and here they have it hanging right on the wall. And see how charming he is. That is a painting. The real thing. Wonder, wonder who he was in his life that it was special to 
to memorialize him. It's a beautiful early pewter, pewter plates. Some directionals there from the old wind, windmills. And again, another lovely fireplace mantle. This one's quite large. But again, if you have the wall space, even if you don't have the fireplace, it's another whole several of the Betty lamps. And there's a little lamp with a glass. Oh, is that wrought iron? 19th century. Beautiful. I'm going to do a little pan around here. I have more home tours and some very special shops. More coming. We've had a lot going on with our new build. They are starting drywall. So we will we will start some more of the home tours as that process continues. With a little bit more interesting things than just the electric and insulation and plumbing. Another beautiful early painted cupboard. So I hope I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you could. I know YouTube loves when that happens for us. We do as well. Share with your friends. Subscribe if you can. And most of all, the one thing that can really really help us help this channel grow is when you share when you share these videos on your social media pages tell them about the youtube channel the cape on the corner all right so with that note take care everybody i hope you have a wonderful evening wonderful weekend make it a great day take care Bye-bye. See you in the next one.